Hey there, everybody. It's Caitlin, your new girlfriend, and today we're going to talk about the second installment of the Housemaid series, The Housemaid's Secret, while I get some clothes ready to go to a resale store. So, um, as you know, because I've been posting about it here on YouTube, I have a lot of clothes that I'm cleaning out and getting rid of, and so we're going to attempt to take them to, I think, Uptown Cheapskate to um, sell. And then whatever does not, like, whatever they don't take is fine because I'm just going to sell them at my normal sale. But I have, like, too many to put in my normal regular sale. So I have to try and, like, get rid of them. I use that word loosely somehow. Um, I... Still am technically on Poshmark, but I don't know. I don't, things didn't like go as quickly on Poshmark as I would have liked. That's not to say that I won't still sell on Poshmark again, given recent events. But anyway, let's talk about the housemaid secret. Now, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Caitlin and this page is a little bit of everything. Um, obviously we have clothing things, but we also have bookie things. Um, and lately that's been the majority of the videos on here. Um, and I did recently read the housemaid. Um, actually this is kind of a, um, need another bag. Hold on. Okay. So as I was saying, um, I, just re I recently reviewed The Housemaid, the first one, um, and you can find that review. And actually, ironically, it was when I was doing my closet clean out or getting ready to do my closet clean out rather. So you can go find my review for the first one in this series there. Um, uh, what was I going to say? This one is, like I said, the second one in the series. It is, um, now my bag is completely breaking. And I'll go ahead and just jump to the, cut to the chase. So if you already watched my review of The Housemaid, you know that I was not a big fan. I mean, it's not that I didn't like it. Like, it was fine. I gave it a three. And if you've been around here in the last few months or, you know, since I started um, really like reviewing every book in real time and not just like, Oh, here's every book that I've read or comparing them against each other or vice versa. Then, you know, that, um, I gave the housemate a three, which for me, three stars is like a very solid. Okay. Book, right. It's just, it's fine. Like it's good, but it, I was expecting maybe a little bit more from it or something. So I will go ahead and just cut to the chase. This one was better. Um, I also have reviewed The Teacher by Freedom McFadden, which got a five-star rating from me. Um, I absolutely devoured that book. Um, and this one, The Housemaid's Secret, was similar in the fact that I read it pretty quickly. I started this book technically um, Sunday night. And already, like, by last night, I was down to, like, less than 100 pages. Um, and then I finished it up this morning. Um, and, yes, do you guys see, like, I have this entire bag. So we're definitely, definitely going to need, like, more than just one bag or box or what have you to fit all these clothes in. But I guess we'll deal with that. Um when this box gets filled up. But anyway, um, so I read it very, very quickly. And it is a psychological thriller, which Frida McFadden has kind of made her name in. Um, and she does it well. So there's a reason why she's um, kind of staked her claim in it. Now, I want to talk about... so. I guess I don't really know what I want to talk about clearly. Um, so, getting really close here. Okay, 
So I gave this one, The Housemaid's Secret, a four stars on Goodreads. Um, part of that is because of how quickly I made my way through it. But I just really liked that it continued Millie's story. I really liked that it um, had some references to the characters from the first one while also keeping it a little bit mysterious and like her trying to actively forget about what happened in the first one. I really liked... I just really like Millie as a character overall. Um, and the twist, I would say in this one, I kind of, I could feel it coming. Like, I knew that the twist was coming. I knew that there was more to come even after the climax. I really, oh my gosh, are these rocks in it? Um, I might need a tote, but anyway, um, I wonder if I could just take, hmm. perhaps I could just take this in a trash bag. Okay, while I figure out what and how I'm going to get all these clothes here, we can just go ahead and finish talking about the book. So, um, the first housemaid book, I think I gave it like a one on the spice scale. I had one scene. Everything in this one is all closed door. You don't see anything other than like a kiss and even that is very closed door. So in terms of spice, this one is not. It is not spicy. Now with and all honestly, the language in this book is also not very adult either. Um do I think that this book is suitable for children? Probably not or like young adult readers probably not. But it wasn't like super raunchy. It wasn't super filthy language. Like everything was pretty clean. Um, but the events are a little bit graphic. So there's a lot of blood for this purpose. I'm giving it like a one between a one and a two ghosts, depending on your level of spook. Um, the blood might've been a little much like some of the, like the scene at the very end might've gotten to you a little bit, um, depending on your level of thrill and spook. Um, do I want to read the third one? Yes, this one was better than the first one, in my opinion. And I just really want this story of Millie to continue. And I think it would make a really interesting TV series. But also, I was a little bit disappointed because this book, the second one, takes place four years after the first one, which seems like a really, really long time. And of course, they detail like what happens romantically with Millie in that time. But we don't, I wanted to hear more about the gig that she took right after the Winchesters. Like, that's what I wanted to know. I would have loved to know where Nina and Cece are, um, which obviously, given how they left, you're probably not supposed to. But I, that's what I want to know. Like, I want to know where they are. And I wanted Nina or in some way to like reach back out and tell the, tell Millie that she's doing okay, whatever. Now I will say I do think you do need to read the first one. For me, I think these books would be better enjoyed in order, um, especially because I enjoyed the second one more than the first one. But there are some characters in the second one who are also in the first one. And knowing like Enzo and his role in the first one, I do think is important when you're thinking about the second one. Um, but in theory, I think you could pick up this one and just read it if you didn't want to read the first one. Um, but I do think that they go pretty well together. Now, with that being said, since they do take place four years apart, like as long as you kind of remember who Millie is and what happened with the Winchesters, you probably wouldn't necessarily have to read them super close together. Like you could read the first one and then wait six months to maybe even a year to read the second one. And I actually already have the third one waiting downstairs from the library. Um, so whenever I'm hoping to get to it this month, um, but we'll see. So Trying to think if there's anything else. Um, spice level, non-existent. I mean, 
technically you could say that it's a one, but I wouldn't even rate it on the spice scale. I would just say that this is not spicy. It's not a romance book. It is a psychological thriller. Um, so perfect for the spooky time. And like I said, I would give it like between one and two ghosts. And I gave this a four star all the way across. So Storygraph and um, Goodreads, I gave it a four. There wasn't any discrepancy there. Um, I read it quickly. Her books, especially like all of Freedom McFadden's so far, the chapters themselves are just like candy to me. Like I read like 20 chapters in a setting because the chapters are like one and a half to two pages long. And I prefer that to like Elin Hildebrand, whose chapters are like 15 to 20 minutes, 15 to 20 pages long. Allie Hazelwood's chapters are a little bit long. Um, I typically just my brain sees the short chapters and I just inherently read a book faster um when the chapters are shorter so that's probably just a psychological thing in my brain like obviously this book has over 300 pages so you know it's not like it's a short book by any means and there were like 60 some chapters versus the Allie Hazelwood book had like 15 chapters so obviously it's just a preference of how books are written but I like Freedom McFadden's writing style and I do think that in terms of psychological thrillers she has some good ones still like the teacher was up there in terms of psychological thriller this one wasn't quite like I have read other thrillers that like you know, made the heart pound a little bit more than this one, but this one made it more than The Housemaid. So like, I just enjoyed this book. I enjoyed the plot. I thought the epilogue was like, Freedom McFadden certainly knows how to write an epilogue because again, with this one, I was like, wow, you know, like, and so the epilogue is really where a lot of the big like twists come in so always read the epilogue always read the prologue and yeah so I enjoyed this one more than the first one um this was book number 35 for the year which is pretty crazy I think I already know what my last nonfiction book is gonna be but it's spooky time so we are doing like all thrillers for the next several books um I've got two thrillers like from the library already checked out and then we'll, I probably am going to have to read a book club book. So we're going to see if I can squeeze in like another thriller in between. But um, I do also have several romance books from the library too. So I've got like five library books that are due back like by the 15th. So we have to like make some adjustments to the reading calendar. But it is spooky time. So this was the perfect day to review this book. If you read this one let me know in the comments what you think do you like it better or worse than the first one and make sure you subscribe and follow me for more because the review of the third one is coming soon um and then that'll be the end of this series and this is like considered a book talk book it's still very trendy she's an up-and-coming author right now so if you haven't yet read the housemaid make sure you go check it out but definitely read the teacher I won't stop talking about that book probably for like two years until something tops it um so make sure you go check that one out and my review of that one too that's it for this one guys wish me luck with getting all these clothes in some sort of container or receptacle to get to the resale store because it is going to be probably a hot mess. But anyway, see y'all next time.